How are you doing everyone and welcome back to the Learn or Driver classroom. My name is Anthony from ADM Driving School and today we're going to be talking about turning right from a T-junction. Alright, um, I tend to find this one is a little bit easier than say turning right from a major to a minor road. This one tends to be a little bit easier, alright. So, as always from the last videos, you remember once you hear the direction, that's when we apply our mirror, signal, position, slow and look. Alright, so when you get the direction that you're turning right, you're going to go inside mirror, then right mirror. One, two. Once you've done that, that's when we signal to the right, or indicate right. And once we've done that, that's when we gradually bring our position over towards the centre line. And again, once you're over to the line, straight up. Very important. Straight up to the, to the junction here, all right? Um, and then once you're in position, that's when we, you can see the brake lights, slow with the brake first. Once you're going slow enough, that's when we clutch in, into second, off the clutch, and L for luck. Now, although we're coming up L is for luck, we'd be still on the brake here. And remember from my last video where we turned left at the T-junction, we're on the brake, we clutch in and we roll it into fourth gear. All right, if you watched that video on turning left from a T-junction, I explained that in a bit more detail. So we're on the brake, we clutch in, roll it into fourth, and now L for luck. So when we come to the T-junction, these cars have right of way, all right? So we need to look right and left right and left all right if there's a car coming from either way we're going to just stop at the line very important if you want to keep on rolling and stopping out here you don't want to be impeding these cars or cyclists very important so we look right and left we see a car it's really easy just to press the brake and stop just at the line all right so then you're looking right and left once there's no cars coming it's important that we don't steer from here you don't want to do that, you're still kind of cutting the corner in that sense, all right? So what you kind of do is you, you drive up towards the centre line. That's when you can, just before you steer, you can have your quick glance to the left. A quick glance, but then once you're about to steer, I would have set, explained this in the last videos, just looking where you're going, look to the right and then steer. Because we're always looking down this way, because that's where you're going. So just before we steer, you can do your little glance to the left, that's grand. But we already know there's nothing coming. Because we're looking right and left here. But I know people just, they really have to do that last look. So if you have to do it, do it before you steer. And then once you get to, just before you steer, look where you're going. Steer to the right. And I'm looking that way. I'm looking down this way. And you pick up your good roll position in on the left. Easy enough. That's simple enough, all right? So you drive forward, look to the right and steer. Good position, in on the left. So, that's turning right at a T-junction in the perfect world. But you know from your lessons, it's never as clean cut as that. All right, because just imagine this is in a more narrower housing estate now. And you know yourself from in your lessons, usually there'll be cars parked here, there'll be a car parked here, and more cars along here, all right? So this is where I see people lose a lot of marks for position turning right. Say if you do, so you get the direction that you're turning right. So as always, mirror, signal. But these park cars here are pushing you just a little bit over onto the wrong side of the road. That's grand. You have to do that once there's no cars coming. All right. Making sure you keep your doors with, as you were learn from your theory test. So you're in position. You slow, you're in the second, you're off the clutch, you're staying on the brake. And then very importantly, unless, it'd be very unlikely there's a car parked all the way up to the top. Usually there's a gap here. So say when the cars, there's no more cars parked. It's very important, you don't want to be steering from the wrong side of the road. If you can get back in onto your side of the road, that's the ideal place to be. Because think about it, if you're up here and you stop here and a car wants to turn right here, you're in the way. So when, the, when there's no more cars, very important, get in onto your side of the road. And then we clutch in, roll it into forced, look right and left. 
if there's no cars coming now you have to also see when you look right and left you're also looking for park cars over here as well all right in this scenario remember from the last time we, we spoke about turning right we don't want to drive forward and drive in behind that car and around it so we have to look right and left if there's no cars coming we still drive forward just not as far this time we look to the right and steer and trying to get straight past this car keeping your doors with if you can if you see another car down here we don't need to wave in and wave back out we just stay straight down in a straight line all right so that's it that's torn and right from a t-junction it's handy enough this one and um, people do tend to find it easy but just very important making sure we always steer from our side of the road all right yeah so that's it torn and right from a t-junction if you have any questions on that or anything put it put that in, in the comments down below um, I will go through them and I will try my best to answer every single one of them and also if you like the video why not hit the thumbs up there and subscribe to the channel uh, the next video I will be doing will be roundabouts and also mini roundabouts so it's gonna be a good one plenty to learn and um, so yeah hopefully see you in the next classroom alright